Hide. For the machine. The machine? Yes, we will need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead, have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. And what am I supposed to do? Hello? Where? What is... Hello? Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Bring me some clothes. I don't want to sit here all day. Here. Put this on. Really? A wedding dress? I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat. How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress, and good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if he brought one. Then what are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But, okay, whatever. Fuck it. Go over there for a second and I'll put this thing on. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife-to-be to get this dress? No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> How do I look?
good. You, yeah, you look good. I do? Mm, yeah, sure. Thank you. So, good, but not great? Actually, you know what? You, you do look great. Yep, totally great. Green eyes, very pretty. Lovely posture, and the hair, it's very long and black. Oh, stop it. I meant the dress. Huh? I know damn well my eyes are green and my hair is black. What I want to know is this. How do I look in this dress? G great I'm warning you. Like a zombie in a wedding dress? You know, a bride of Frankenstein? Okay. First of all, I'm nobody's bride, okay? And secondly, watch who you're calling a zombie. Because I ain't no freaking zombie, all right? Are you a zombie? Would you like me to call you a zombie? Hi. Well, it's too late now. Don't bother with apologies. But let's start again. How do I look? You look very nice. Aw, thank you. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky when you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Do you at least remember your name? Why, do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Your name is Agnes. Damn right it is. Cool. So, we do know each other, then? Not really. A guy who runs this place told me your name. And... how did he know? He didn't really go into details. Hmm... Maybe he was some sort of stalker? Nah, he was some sort of a doctor, I think. Yeah, a pervy sort. Playing with naked dead ladies. What a creep. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I promise. I'll keep you safe. And what if I trip over the stupid wedding dress and break my neck on the stairs? I'll catch you. Aw, that's really nice. Really. You know what? If you ever fall, I'll catch you too. Deal. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. And when I first saw it, I thought, Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? And it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. Of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Run! Thank you.
Just about the prettiest girl that's ever walked this earth. Yeah. And that's what I thought when I first saw you. That was five years ago. I'm 29 now. And I feel... I don't know. You're still just as beautiful as you were then. Ah, uh, of course you would say that now. I mean it. No, I know you. You're just saying that because you're hoping to get late again. That's all. I'm saying it because I love you. I know. And I wish I could just not think about it. But I... Think about what? You will not understand. an idiot. And I hate myself for it. But it's there all the time. This inner voice trying to change who I am. I try to stop it. I try. But it always comes back. And I do it again and again. You can talk to me about it. I... I can't. Really, it doesn't matter. Just worrying about nothing, I guess. You know what I'm like. I do, and I can see there's something you're not telling me. You will. You're not gonna like this. Let's just leave it. I'm here for you, Ivy. Just say what it is. Okay. I've been making myself sick. What? And I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but it's so easy. Just stick fingers down my throat so I can look in the mirror again and like what I see. But why? Because I'm a woman. To be beautiful again, Joe. You are beautiful. Please. Has someone said something mean to you again? You know you shouldn't be listening to those assholes. But it's everywhere, Joe. Those women on TV and in the magazines. Why can't I be like them? But you're not even fat. I'm size 12, Joe. 12. me you'll never do it again that's why i've told you so i could stop i'll help you you'll just have to talk to me whenever you feel like doing it again we can beat this shit together Ives. are you mad at me no i love you ivy i could never be mad at you hey we should get a cat We should totally get a cat. I thought you hated cats. I never said that. It's a little unexpected, but okay. A cat, why the hell not? Maybe a random happy distraction is what we need around here. Just not one of those bald little fuckers. It will be black as night with eyes like two shiny emeralds. And it will stink. And purr. And scratch. And we'll cuddle it tight every time we feel sad. Poor cat. What will we name him? Him? Hmm. And 
midnight? Hmm, we're getting close, but that's not it. Lucifer. 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 Hmm, yes, that's good. I mean, it's bad, but it's good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like it. So that's settled then. Maybe I'll ask this crazy lady next door if she has any kittens. You know how there's always plenty of cats around there. Awesome! Joe? Yeah? I love you. This is not fucking happening. Help! Help! Let me out! Is there anyone there? There's no one out there, Joe. You might as well give up now. It's easier that way. How do you know my name? The maggots told us. They told us all about you. Maggots. That look like people. But you mustn't trust them. Because they're maggots. All they want is to... All that maggots want is... To eat your fucking brain, Joe. <laughs> Funny fellas, them maggots. Who are you? It's been so long. We've forgotten their names long ago. It all just doesn't matter when you're dead. All there is left is watching and waiting. Watching and waiting. Watching. Some call it the grave. Some call it six feet under. And some call it the tomb. But we like to call it... Wait for it, Joe. The paradise of the rotten flesh. You're just a voice in my head. Go to hell. I don't have to listen to your lies. And you're not even there. It's all in my mind. But Joe... If the voice inside your head is you... Who is the one listening to it? You know very well what it is, Joe. The only way out of here. The only escape. The question is... Are you man enough to do it? Do you have the balls? Will you do what you've gotta do? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Only trying to help, bud. We're the good corpses. The only friends you've got. One pull of a trigger, and it's all over. It'll only hurt for a second. Be in charge of your own destiny. You could never have won that battle anyway. It was lost from the start. All there's left is to do the right thing and save your face. Not that there'll be much of it left if you do fire that gun. <laughs> Thank you.
I promise. If I ever find your wandering body, I'll send it your way. I'm locked in? Who is it? The door's locked and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? I'm calling the police! Whoever you are, go away! Okay, don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. Fast. He's in the ignition. Lucky me. Maybe. If I put something heavy on the gas pedal, the car would break through the fence. Genius!
way, you stupid car. Take much of your time. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But it's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she will never let me go. Who? Shh. She. Who is she? She is the monster that keeps me here. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. She's a god and the devil. A trickster. A demon. Great. Why don't you just make some room for me on that chair? And we'll wait together for our imminent death, shall we? I don't need your bitter irony. I knew you wouldn't understand. Go away. But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. It leads right through her house. But maybe, maybe you can make it. I will make it. But you're coming with me. You can't help me. There's no way I'm leaving this room. This place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no! Get your ass off this chair right now and follow me. But... No buts. You'll be fine. I will protect you. Come on. Wait. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Okay. Cool. I'll deal with that. You just follow me, yeah? It's time to bust out of here.
What's with the pumpkins? Dinner. Careful now. I think the man that follows me went through here earlier. We're here. That's the door I was telling you about. I'll pretend I believe you for now, no matter how crazy this sounds. So, what kind of door handle did you have in mind? Isn't it obvious? One, that's suited for a door like this. So, what kind of door handle did you have in mind? Isn't it obvious? One, that's suited for a door like this. And we have a perfect door handle. Now, how do we use it? Push it. No! I'm so sorry. Welcome to my house, young lady. Who... Who are you? I have so many names. 
It's hard to pick them. But the only thing that truly matters is who you think I am. An unlucky victim of lip augmentation gone wrong? <laughs> Come closer. I'm not as scary as they paint me. Please, be my guest. Have some soup. No thanks. Why? Is there something wrong with my soup? Yes, there really, really is. It's blood. <laughs> it's tomato. Actually, I'm not that hungry after all. Please, don't be shy. I made plenty for everyone. I... Had a big lunch. No, you're being silly. A nice hot soup will make you feel so much better. Actually, I'm trying to cut down on blood. Fine, if you want to taste a perfectly good soup. But I bet your good friend Joe would gobble up every last bit of it. No, he wouldn't. And you're crazy. I don't blame you. You don't know Joe as well as I do. Yeah? And how do you know him? He's... Uh, a friend of a friend. He came by not long ago. Did you... give him your soup? He only tasted it. But he's already building up quite an appetite for it, I can tell. Who are you? I mean, who are you really? Why? Am I not a lip surgery victim, after all? You said you have many names. I'm just curious which one is real. I've not used my real name for a long time. I don't need names. I am the queen of maggots, adored and feared by all. And this is my kingdom of death. But... There was once another name, am I right? Yes, there was. But why would I tell you about it? You don't even belong here, just passing through. I have no quarrel with you, young lady. Fine. Keep it. Whatever. I was just trying to be friendly. It was nice chatting about soup, but I think I'll go now. So early? What about the main course? It's been waiting in the oven for a while now.
No. Just... No. Van Morsing. Yeah? Would you kindly blow out one of the candles in the next room? What? Why? It's just a little tradition in my house. I ask all my guests to do that. Okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> 